Hello everyone, so now we are going to do one basic lab. In this one, we are going to learn how we can make the communication between two different network. Okay, so I am going to do the lab in the EVNG because some commands are not working in the packet tracer. But packet tracer also a very good tool. Try to use first packet tracer later when you grow, when you go for little deep, then jump for the EVNG. But try to start from the packet tracer. Okay, so let me create new lab. Here we will write basic CCNA lab. Okay, this is a basic CCNA lab one. In this one, we are going to learn how we can make the communication between two different network. So what I will do, I will take one router here. How we will use? Just right click, click node, and then you go down here. If you see, you will see this IOS. 7206VXR. Okay, click this one. Give the name whatever you want to give. R I am giving. Okay, it is going to consume 512 MB of RAM. I will select this. Okay, and save. So this is the router. I am going to take the switch. So here I will take the switch. This one. Okay, bridge. We have bridge NAT cloud. So what I will do? I will use this bridge. I will show you. We can use this also. Let let me show you that. Okay, this one. This is the two I taken. This work as a switch. This is a unmanageable switch. Okay, we can say this is a unmanageable switch. If you don't want to spend lot of RAM, you can use this unmanageable switch. Later, when we create the VLAN, we will use the manageable switch. This is a unmanageable switch. So I am going to connect to the router like this. Okay, from here to here. Now what I will do, I will take the VPC. If you go down, you have the VPC here. This one virtual PC. Like a computer, just to send the ping to verify it is working or not. You can give any name here. I am giving PC. We need quantity two. You can change the icon from here. If you want different icon, you can select. There is a lot of icon available in the EVNG. Okay, if you go down here. You can see more icons also available for the PC or the client. You can use this one user icon. Okay, so it look like you have two user sitting here and doing the lab. Okay, I will put this is a PC one, and this one is a PC two. Okay, this is for beginner who don't know anything how to use the uh, PCs and also how to use the EVNG. For them, this one, and just click and connect here. Now you have two user. I take on only two user. Maybe you will have more. Okay, in the real scenario, you will have more. But now we will take only one. We will take only one. Okay. So let me power on the router also. Let me power on this PC one and also PC two. PC one and PC two. And I will take the console of the router. Double click, click op open, and write no here. So console will load, and double click here. You will have the PC one, and double click here. You will have the PC two. Okay. And here, let me write the IP schema. Whatever we are planning to use, I will use here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one slash twenty four. I will write here 24, and this should be bold. If you want to change any different color, you can select different color here. Okay. I use this. If you want to decrease the size, we can decrease also. But anyhow, let me keep. Let me take this one only. No issue. This side we are going to use the 2.1. Okay. So this is the two different network. This is a two different network. This one will be going to assign to router interface fast Ethernet zero by zero, and this will be here. And in this machine, we are going to assign the other one. Let me show you that also. Okay, let me make this small. Okay, I will write here. I can take here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two slash twenty four. Okay, and this is bold. So this one we are going to assign to this machine. 
and this one we are going to assign to this machine this should be 2.2 okay that should be 2.1 here the gateway is 2.1 and the ip is 2.2 these are the two different network okay two different network now we need to check how we can make the communication between two different network if you see here this is a class c okay this is a class c ip address so here you have network 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 and the host portion and here if you see this is a network 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 host portion so this network portion is not same so we can say they are in the different network okay they are in the different network now we need to make how now we need to check how we can make the communication between different network we will use router with the help of router we can make the communication between different network you need to remember router is a device which is used to make the communication between different network okay now we will do the configuration i can take the notepad we will do in the notepad okay so let me take the notepad here we are going to do the configuration so i will write here basic okay basic ccna lab okay in bracket how to make communication between two different network two different two or more different network okay this is our lab now i will do the r1 configuration i will write here r1 configuration enable config t then host name r1 then we will write interface you have this interface see here this one fast ethernet 0 by 0 so i will write fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut because by default the cisco uh, router interface is done we need to write no shut so this way we assign the ip address this ip we assign here now i am going to assign this ip here okay so i will write this fast ethernet 1 by 0 and then we will write ip address 192.168.2.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here that's all this is the configuration for the router okay now i will copy and paste this inside the router cli so if you see this is a router cli i will paste here okay everything work perfectly no issue now we will go for pc in pc you can write show ip to check the ip address you don't have any ip you can write ip and give the ip 192.168.2.1 what is that one 1.2 slash 24 and give space write the gateway 192.168.1.1 okay this is a gateway first this is ip this is subnet mask this is gateway if you want to save write save and you can write show ip and you can check okay this is the ip address of this machine with the subnet mask slash 24 and this is a gateway so good now we can go to the second pc and we can assign the ip if we check we don't have any ip here so now i am going to assign the ip ip then 192.168.2.2 right 2.2 if you are confused see this this machine we are going to assign to this machine here 2.2 okay so this one 2.2 after that slash 24 then write the gateway 192.168.2.1 this is a gateway okay 2.1 press enter and if you want to check you can check also you can write show ip it is working okay save the configuration this is the ip address this is the gateway now you can try to check this machine the pc1 can communicate with pc2 or not so what i will do i will write ping and the ip address 192.168.2.2 okay because this machine is 2.2 i am pinging from 1.2 to 2.2 let's see it will work or not we need to check that it is working okay reply is coming so it is working so what we done here we learn here how we can make the communication between two different network if you see here two different network here we have the different network here we have the different network that is 1.1 here 192 192.168.1.1 here 192.168.2.1 both are different network we make the communication between two different network okay so our lab successfully done 
try to join our telegram channel because we are going to share all our lab configuration file there okay so you can join you will get the all configuration whatever we are doing here okay thank you bye